Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing the brand new Too Faced Unicorn Collection. I've had so many requests from you guys to hear my thoughts on this amazing looking collection. So we're going to go through it today. It's a complete first impression. All of these boxes are sealed up. I haven't even picked what's inside. So I'm really excited. If I can manage to not drop these over. Oh, it's happening. Oh my God. It's a big collection. There are quite a few products uh, in this. Um, they've got an eyeshadow palette, they've got a brush, they've got cheek products, highlighters, a bronzer, lipsticks, lip toppers, a bunch of different stuff. Oh my god, the packaging. <laughs> So yes, we're going to go through the collection, we're going to try out the products, have a little looky, and I'm going to let you guys know whether or not I think it's worth the hype and worth your money. So if you're interested in seeing that, then please keep on watching. So let's go through and have a quick look at each of the products first. This is the Too Faced Life's A Festival Peace, Love and Unicorns palette. So according to the back of this packaging, um, it is a palette that's full of duo chromatic shadows that shift colour. And there are some mattes in there as well. Cool. Oh my god, it's got a highlighter in here as well based on their best-selling Unicorn Tears lipstick. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh my god. Look at the packaging of this. Are you like kidding? It's gorgeous. Okay, let's have a look at her. Oh, look at those shadows. You know what, Too Faced, bang on on the packaging. Definitely very on trend. The unicorns, the rainbows, the glitter. It's just absolutely stunning. And these shadows look absolutely amazing. And I was kind of thinking to myself, you know, maybe this palette's not going to be all that wearable. But looking at this, it definitely is. Let's try this highlighter in the middle. Oh my god, look at that. Oh. Okay, I need to get this on my eyes. I wonder what the pigmentation is like. So it looks like there are two cheek products. There is an iridescent mystical bronzer. Hey, that's different. And then a rainbow strobe highlighter. All right, so let's look at the bronzer first. For the first time ever, we've combined the effects of the warm bronze of the sunlight, the ethereal glow of moonlight, and the twinkling effect of starlight together for a unicorn of a bronzer. Again, packaging is very cute, very pretty. Let's have a look at this one. Oh my gosh, it's got a little unicorn in it. Okay, so this is a very shimmery bronzer. If you're not into very shimmery bronzers, you may not like this one. Oh, you know what? Oh, yeah, she is pretty shimmery, but it's very, very pretty. So we'll definitely test it out. Oh my God, it smells good. Oh, is that like chocolate scented? Yum. And then we have the rainbow highlighter. Oh, similar packaging. It's an actual rainbow highlighter. Oh my goodness. If you lined your brush up and swiped it sideways, I think you could get an actual rainbow on your cheek. We're gonna try it. You know we're gonna try it. <laughs> so they've also released a Magic Rainbow Strobing Brush. I'm assuming that's to go with this one because it looks like the bristles, actually, you know what? Let's just get it out. Oh, it's so pretty. The bristles of this, it looks like line up with the colors in the highlighter. It's honestly so gorgeous. Okay, there is a Unicorn Dreams Mystical Effects Highlighting Stick. There are Mystical Effects Lipsticks and Lip Toppers and another highlighting stick. There's a Festival Refreshed uh, Mystical Effects Setting and Refreshing Spray. That must give you a glow. Helps refine pores and improve skin texture. Hello, I'm into that. Oh, it's got shimmer in it. Oh, you shake it up. So when you shake this one up, it's actually got like a luminance to it. It's like a beautiful kind of purpley shimmer shift to it. It's so pretty. So like I said, there is a bunch of products. Um, all of the packaging from what I can tell is absolutely stunning. Very well thought out, beautifully designed. Love the rainbow theme, the glitter, the unicorns, everything. It's so pretty. But what really matters is how these perform on the skin, how long they last. So let's jump in and try the products out. Let's see what the pigmentation and blendability and stuff is like. And yeah. Fingers crossed because I'm dying over the colors in the packaging. Okay, so I've just quickly primed my eyes. We're gonna jump into this palette now. Here's another little look at what she looks like. It's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, first I'm gonna take Desert Vibes. This is this matte shade here. I'm gonna work that one through the crease as a transition color. Okay, so this is Desert Vibes. My hair is like actually out of control today. Apologies. So Desert Vibes is a really beautiful terracotta matte color. Perfect transition shade. I think it's really important for every eyeshadow palette to have a transition shade because it makes it usable, especially for traveling. You don't want to have to pack a million things to get a complete look. It's blending out really well. I definitely don't have too many complaints about it so far. 
a minimal fallout, which is nice. Oh, these duochrome color here. This is Artist Pass. Oh, and the gold though. Oh, these are so nice. Euphoric is also beautiful. Dusk Till Dawn. <laughs> Stop. Stupid. Why you gotta do me dirty? Okay, I'm gonna take Beaming now, which is like a yellow based, goldy white kind of color, just on a small brush. And I'm gonna pack that. Whoa! Okay, these are pigmented. Oh my god, that's insane. I'm packing this one on the inner portion of my lid. Not getting that much fallout with this one either, which is great. Now, I'm pretty sure this collection is available right now on the Too Faced website, and it's going to be available worldwide, I'm pretty sure, early March. Um, I'll pop, you know, any extra information that I have down below. <gasps> that color is so nice. I'm going to take Euphoric now, which is like a warmer, it's definitely still a duochrome, but it's like a warmer coppery gold. I'm going to pop that on the center of my lid. These are really nice shadows. Perhaps a little bit chunkier than, um, you know, many other Too Faced shadows that I've tried. But these are um, duochrome, so I would expect that they would need to be a little bit kind of, you know, more glittery and kind of more chunky. They don't look chunky on the lid, but you'll notice the texture in the pans is a little more chunky. I'm going to take Mystic Rain now, which is this purpley color here. This one's got like a blue shift to it. And I'm going to pack that right on the outer corner. Definitely do some full on eyeshadow looks with this palette. I'm going to show you a really wearable one today because that seems to be what most people prefer. But yeah, I probably would have gone ham straight into the teal color. I'm just going to add a little bit more of Mystic Rain just to the center of the lid. Actually, I might even mix the Unicorn Tears highlighter in just to make it look super duochrome. So I think the majority of these shadows, um, you know, it would be fair to say they're designed for layering. They're not going to be full opacity, you know, one swipe foiled metallic sort of kind of a thing and um, they're definitely like I don't know duochrome toppers kind of like the Fenty um, glitter palette if you're after super full-on you know intense metallic shadows this is not going to be the one for you okay so the rest of the collection are lip and cheek products so I'm going to quickly finish my eyes put my concealer and some other things on and then I'll be right back okay we're going to move on to some of the cream highlighters in this collection um one thing that I will say about this packaging is the actual unicorns that come on them, they're just little stickers and I haven't even, like mine are fresh out of the box and they're already peeling off. I don't really like that. I would have much preferred that the unicorn be printed on there properly because it just seems a little bit, I don't know, a little bit tacky to just sort of chuck stickers on there. So these are the unicorn horn. I think, hang on. <laughs> yes, the Unicorn Horn Mystical Effects Highlighting Sticks. So we've got the shades Unicorn Tears and Unicorn Dreams here. Oh my gosh, they're actually shaped like unicorn horns. That is so cool. Although they do look, ah, uh, no, nah, they're actually in there quite good. So they're just like little wind up highlighting, like cream highlighting sticks. Okay, let's do a swatch of both shades. So this one here is Unicorn Tears. So this is like a really beautiful Kind of like a cool tone highlight color. And Unicorn Dreams. Oh my god, Unicorn Dreams. It's like a goldy. I'm hopefully you'll be able to see it in the light, but um, they're absolutely stunning. I'm going to apply them how a cream highlighter would normally be applied. So directly to the cheek and then blend with a finger. Okay, so this one's giving more of a subtle glow to the skin. It's definitely very pretty. Oh, actually, look at that. Oh, I love it. That's beautiful. Actually, seems to be easier if you would just apply it with a finger. And then this is the Unicorn Tears shade on this side. I personally prefer the Unicorn Dreams. It's just like a really beautiful, natural, glowy kind of color. Unicorn Dreams is more of like a blue. It's very pretty, but for me... I would go this side. They're very pigmented and oh, they don't really blend down to like a powdery finish. So interesting to see how it goes on my oily skin. Very pretty though. And if you love cream highlighter sticks, I think you'll definitely love these. I'm just going to quickly set everything down with some powder. Oh, you can still see it after you've applied powder too. That's nice. Okay. I officially love Unicorn Dreams. Okay, we're going to go into the bronzer now. I'm a little bit nervous about how this one is going to go, but I'm here for it. I'm going to have a go at applying this how I would normally apply a bronzer. So I'm just going to go straight in. You could definitely uh, like dodge the unicorn if you wanted. Picking it up and I'm going to apply it. Oh, actually, you know what? 
that does not look shimmery on the skin at all. That looks beautiful. I just thought it was going to be like, you know, glitter on my cheek. Um, Too Faced, you done well. That's why I should give products a chance before I judge them. I'm definitely like, I'll look at something and I'll be like, I'm just, I can tell I'm going to hate that. Yeah, this was one of those products and I don't hate it at all. Oh, and it smells so good, like chocolate. So I'm just using it to warm up my cheeks and my forehead. You can definitely still see that cream highlighter under the powder. I love, love how that looks on the skin. Oh my goodness. This side you can still see it too, but it's definitely a lot more cool tone. I feel like this is the moment we've all been waiting for. The rainbow highlighter. Please, please. I'm going to go in with my brush and I'm going to go sideways and we're going to see if I can't get a rainbow happening. So let's do this. So sideways. For starters, it is hella, hella, hella blinding, but you definitely don't get a rainbow. <laughs> Let me try that again. I can get it on my arm. Oh, I know you do. It's just very subtle. All of these colors actually seem to have like a bit of a gold reflect to them. Very pigmented. Um, a little bit on the chunky side, I guess, of a highlight. Um, I do personally prefer... Whoa. <laughs> Okay. Oh my God. Look at my cheeks right now. How you doing? <laughs> it is very, very, very pigmented. If you love super pigmented highlighters, you're going to absolutely love this. Personally, the brush eh, kind of makes it hard to apply. I wouldn't really bother. I mean, I would purchase it just because it's beautiful, not really functional. I'm going to switch to this brush and I'm going to just mix them all together. Oh my God. It's definitely chunkier than a lot of, look at my cheek. Look at me. I'm glowing. <laughs> what? Definitely chunkier than how I would personally prefer a highlighter. But if you don't have enlarged pores, if you don't have texture, or you're not bothered by it emphasizing the enlarged pores that you do have, then you're fine. Low key feel like I need to tone this down. To be fair, I do really need to try this highlighter properly as well. So this is the Unicorn Tears and I'm going to do the collarbones. <gasps> oh my God, this one's nicer. Oh my God. Okay, these are insane. The Unicorn Tears one is more of a duochrome sort of shifty kind of highlighter, whereas this one here is more of like a straight up shimmery kind of gold. I am glowing next level. Yeah. Shivers. I'm gonna go downstairs and Brandon's gonna be like, um, hi Galaxy Woman, how are you? How are you? Okay, and then finally, two lip products from the collection. So this is the original Too Faced Unicorn Tears lipstick. Everyone pretty much knows about this lipstick or has heard about it. It is a lipstick that like changes color. <laughs> so everybody that puts it on, it looks slightly different. Very pretty. Oh my gosh. So that's what it looks like on me. This is obviously the kind of mood that I'm in. I don't know what that means, but yep. <laughs> but they've also released like a transforming lip topper version of that very, like everybody knows about this lipstick. It's very well loved. I think it's Ulta's best selling lipstick, but um, it's like a, it's like a transformer that you can apply to any other liquid to make it look like mystical and duochrome the same way that this does. So let's try it over a pink lipstick. I'm just letting that one dry for a second. And then you just go straight over the top. So it is a gloss transforming lip topper. Beautiful packaging, stunning. Do foot applicator. Oh my God, look at it. Okay, so that is how it changes the lip color before and after. It's really, really nice. It's actually kind of subtle. Like it's not too, you know, like, it's definitely not as hardcore as the lipstick version. It's more of a subtle one. Very pretty though, I like. The gloss isn't too tacky either. Like it's a comfortable gloss to wear, which is always a good thing. And then lastly, to finish, we have the setting spray. So this is the Festival Refresh Mystical Effects Setting and Refreshing Spray. Um, I have a bit of a feeling this is not going to go amazing on my um, oily skin, but this one's going to give your face an all over sparkling illumination, cools on contact, helps refine pores and improve skin texture. And Rose Quartz Powder um, adds some love energy to your makeup. Really? Hello. I like the fact that it refines pores. Just make sure you shake it up because all of the luminance stuff, um, it settles at the bottom. And if you spray it, because obviously the spray thing is at the bottom. I'm assuming does it have a spray thing? No, it doesn't. But yeah, shake it up either way. I just want to smell it first. 
Oh, it smells so good. Okay, I'm going to spray this. Oh, that smells amazing. It's like citrus. Oh, yum. I like that. Oh, wow. It has made my skin even more glowy, though. Oh, if I wasn't glowy already, I am now. <laughs> so there you go, guys. This is the final look that I came up with. It's definitely dialed very, very high up on the glow. Um, the products are really beautiful. Standouts for me, um, probably def... Oh, that, that setting spray actually does feel really nice and cooling. Amazing. For me personally, the standout product in this collection is definitely this cream highlighting stick. This is the Unicorn Dreams. It just gives the most beautiful, soft, subtle, natural glow to the skin. And even when you powder over the top of it, it still shows through. Absolutely gorgeous. I freaking love the highlighter out of this palette. I think Too Faced should release that as a single. Amazing. Um, the shadows are like they're they're very pretty, but just remember that they are sort of more iridescent top coats. The mattes in this blend very very easily, but you're not going to get like one swipe molten metals from this palette. At the same time though, the packaging. Oh my god, I die. Just gorgeous. If you love rainbows, if you love unicorns, if you love anything of this nature, you're going to adore it. And surprisingly, another big standout was the bronzer. I wasn't expecting to like this as much as I did, but it looks really beautiful on the skin. Very kind of like subtle glow and it's not shimmery at all. I was expecting like a stripe of shimmer. Yeah, nah, it is stunning. So there you go, guys. Those are my thoughts on the brand new Too Faced Unicorn collection. Um, if you've tried any of these products, please let me know in the comments or also let me know what products you liked the most, which ones you didn't like, which ones you think you might pick up. If you've got any questions about them as well, please leave those in the comment section down below. I will definitely update how this setting spray goes with my oily skin. I'm praying that it goes beautifully because, oh my God, it feels so nice on the skin and it smells amazing. But yes, I love you all so, so much. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will catch you in my next one. Bye.